let's make this triangle type shaped folded purse. Any piece of paper will do as long as it's longer than it is wide. And I'm folding it up maybe three quarters of the way. Don't get hung up on numbers, just try it. And the whole point of this for, is for it to be fun and not worry about measurements. I usually leave a little bit of space between where I'm going to fold it down and where the inside of the purse will be. So sometimes I take a pencil and, and mark just so that as I'm folding it, I can look in and see, especially if I'm folding cardstock because cardstock is difficult to fold as it is. So now I can look in and see that little mark and then, and then begin creasing it. One thing to make sure is make sure that your paper is lined up on both sides because that's how you'll know if it's straight. If you have a straight piece of paper, you'll know that you have folded it perfectly if the two sides match up. So now I'm gonna fold it in half, but I don't wanna fold it in half and crease it. I just wanna fold it in half because I'm going to cut it so that both sides match evenly. If you're using cardstock, it's not the greatest to try and do this with. Sometimes I might spritz it with a little bit of water um, before I cut it, but sometimes that can leave a crease as well. So just try whatever you can. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut from the very bottom right corner to the middle top, or if you wanna angle it differently, angle it differently. This is gonna be your creation as well. So I cut all the way through. Again, it was cardstock, so I had to use the big scissors. Now, I am going to unfold it and take what's gonna be the inside top of the purse. And I wanna just angle that so it's more at an angle on the inside. I think it's easier to get things in and out of. These purses are meant to just slide a piece of paper in. They're not really great at holding lots of real things. So I'm just gonna take this, fold it in half without really creasing it and angle it down. So now this'll be what the inside of the purse will look like. See, I've just angled it down a little bit. Now the top, I didn't love it. So I decided to open it back up, fold the top in and take a little bit of that harsh corner off. Um, I just didn't like it. And so I really recommend when you're when you're messing around with paper, play with it. Cut it in different ways. Use generic paper, computer paper, newspaper. Now I love this. And all I did was cut those corners. So really make it your own. And don't be scared to try new things and fold different folds. Now I ink it because I love inking my paper. It just gives it depth. It gives it, I just love it. So I ink the whole thing. And then again, remember these purses are not meant to hold lots of things. So now this is where we decide where we're gonna glue it. Always make sure that you put the glue on the front because it's shorter than the back. So you'll know exactly how much glue to put down. And then now really take your time and really let this glue set before you start messing around with it because you don't want to find out later that it, it didn't adhere real well. So this is the final. I added some ribbon. I added some lace. I always take something, whether it's a tweezers, something to kind of loosen the glue. And now this is an addition to Sweet and Sassy Eloise Bippity Boppity Book.